Hi, a new book takes our taste buds on a tour through the Emerald City. Unique Eats and Eateries of Seattle is the latest offering from author and journalist Jake Udy. Welcome back. Hello. Look at this. I can't even spread. believe. How but let's talk first of all about how you chose. The book is really pretty and thank you for yeah. making it small so we can yeah. <laughs> we don't have to wrestle with it. How did you choose what to put in? So I moved to Seattle about a dozen years ago and I was hungry for culture. And so I went to as many restaurants as I could around the city from all the different neighborhoods small hole in the walls to can list right. to like famous places and so just through my journey of being in Seattle for I don't know 10 years or so I just knew what restaurants uh, I wanted to write about so when they asked me to write the book I just started writing names down and it got to 90 pretty quickly. Isn't that something I right know. off the top of your head just because you'd eaten everywhere. Totally and I thought you know 190 100 restaurants like that's that's probably most of the city right but no there's like mm -hmm. way more than that and that's what I discovered writing the book and what I hope people discover reading the book is all the different variety yes, in the city. Yes, and to get out and try new things yeah. because we don't always know. So you've brought us some, some dishes. An array. I wanted you to, to tell us, why don't we start with this, whatever this delicious little pie yes. is over here. Mini oh, fruit so tart. Good. Mini fruit tart from Columbia City Bakery in the yes. South End and they provided a whole bunch of other great goodies. Giant pretzels that you can have with a cheese sauce or a mustard. Croissant, I say with Croissant. my French accent. <laughs> Uh, pan de campagne, which is a mild sourdough, like farmer's loaf. That one's mine. I know. And uh, <laughs> traditional baguette, which is with my French roots, one of my favorites. And so you you tested this one out. You also oh, yeah. wrote about them. What mm -hmm. do you think is is your favorite there? Well, I like the pretzels. I'm a sucker for a good soft pretzel. Yeah. Um, but what I really love about Columbia City Bakery is that it's it's just a bakery. You know, you go into Safeway and there's uh, everything and there's right. all these different things. But in Columbia City, there's Bob's Meats right next to it, which is a butcher. Columbia City Bakery, there's even a flower shop. It's sort of like this boutique single area places right. that where they a, specialize exactly. and they do this really really well. Exactly. Talk to me about this. That is my favorite. That's a fried chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> which I've been looking at all morning and I haven't <laughs> taken a bite out of amazingly. Um, house cut french fries, uh, lentil fried chicken, um, just perfect for summer in a way, just like summer says fried chicken to me and I just want to bite yes. into it so much. Yeah. Where did this come from? From Meet the Moon in Les Chai, which is a really great um, like bistro boutique uh, right on Lake Washington in Les Chai, beautiful Les Chai, and they have a great brunch and they have like the sun sets out and you can sit outside oh and then go for a little stroll along the water. Couldn't Meet the Moon be is a great little neighborhood place in like a sleeping you know, is it place. Chipotle sauce on yes. top? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a little honey too? Uh -huh. Maybe a little might bit of be spice. just yeah. a mm -hmm. biscuit, I don't know. This is what really caught my eye. Where did this guy come from? Uh, these, so these are all from Meet the Moon. Um, this is a lentil hash, which is a really great brunch breakfast item. And then for dessert, uh, the giant, the biggest cinnamon roll in the entire world uh, with uh, amazing frosting. It's that like the size of your head. I and know. It's and it's sitting in frosting. Sitting in frosting. Because there's not enough just to cover the whole thing and with it. When they prepare it, they put the cinnamon bun on there. They put about 15 dollops of frosting. Oh they goodness. heat it up and it just like drizzles and drips. And you, I had one yesterday when I was picking up all this food for the show. <laughs> I was going to ask tell? you, did you? Me and my fiance, <laughs> we had one, yeah. Did you split it? We split it, okay, yeah. Okay, then it, it doesn't count. I know, That's fine. I know. It was like a, and yeah. if you're standing up, then it really doesn't count. We burned count. the calories as we ate it. <laughs> exactly. We have some ice cream Ice here. cream, yep. That's from Full Tilt, which has five locations throughout the city. And um, Full Tilt has amazing ice cream. It's a huckleberry chip and uh, Pride Scream, which is like a oh, strawberry so cool. birthday cake made for Pride. And what I really like about Full Tilt is it's like a multi-use space. So they have uh, all the ice cream, they have comic books, they have arcade games, they have pinball. So it's like a great place to go to sort of feel like a kid again exactly. or to be in this little corner area. Um, and you can have a lot of fun with the ice cream. And, and the huckleberries yeah. grow everywhere. So yeah. that's kind of fun Tart to see tangy. them turned into something. Mm -hmm. And then this looks pretty good too. What's yeah. happening here? The last plate is from uh, Bananas Grill, which is a small, um, they call it sort of like fast food, but it's Mediterranean. It's sort of comfort food. So it's like the comfort food that maybe you're not super familiar with, mm -hmm. but it's, they have hummus, pita, falafel, there's a little chicken shawarma right there, oh, some yum. tzatziki to dip it in. And what I like about the pita is that you can do the dip with the uh, with the tzatziki or the hummus, or you can make almost like a little sandwich with it. Yes, you can little just bite -sized drip sandwiches. things yeah. everywhere with that. We have some photos that I want to show okay. everybody and have you tell us Lotties. a little bit about, oh my gosh, look at this. The Lottie Dogs, um, maybe my favorite little uh, appetizer in Seattle. Also in the South End, Lottie's is, um, I live in the South End and that's like my local, so I go mm -hmm. there for a beer and a snack with some friends. Uh, regularly, and the Lottie dogs are little corn muffins with uh, with hot dogs in there, so it's like an elegant, like pigs in a blanket almost. Or, or like a corn dog, yeah. but way better. Yes. Um, oh my goodness, smothered chicken? Smothered chicken from the Wandering Goose, um, maybe my favorite fried chicken place in all of Seattle. It's in Capitol Hill. It's this little shotgun restaurant that's always packed, but if you can get a spot, 
Um, their fried chicken sandwiches are smothered in gravy, as you can see there. And oh, my goodness. I know. I'm, I'm going to go there right after this. I have a food coma just from looking at this. I know, this right? This looks delicious. You, Look at that. Chef Thierry uh, Rotoro. One at of our Lu faves. Yep, and that's his um, puffed, like almost like a, like a French fry. But the way he does it, that they're, they're hollow and they're puffed it's a, and like they're super, super crunchy. And it's this like French delicacy that he grew up with making in yes. France over and over and over again. And it's something he brought over to his restaurant. And here, nobody so. should confuse these for a French fry Correct. because they are entirely different. Correct. But it's just am amazing when you bite into them. You've had them. one. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're yeah, like yeah. the size That's of steak really fries, good. but they're like crispy and hollow. And You just will... You know, be in heaven and top pot donuts. <laughs> Can you get enough donuts? No, and we love their donuts. I love. I just like the plain glaze. To be uh, honest, me too, I don't me need too. to do anything Absolutely. else there. But it's sort of a, it's sort of like uh, it's amazing when you walk in because your imagination kind of goes wild with their imagination, right? Because right? you see all the stuff that they've prepared and all the stuff that they've thought of. And they do just a wonderful job mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. All of this stuff is fresh when you go in. Uh, you pick some wonderful Seattle restaurants. restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to make sure everybody knows where to get the book. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Thank you. What a I pleasure. I won't dive in quite yet. I'll wait till we go to commercial break.